In today's video, we are going to be learning how to cut and sew this trendy two-layer collar from start to finish. Hi guys, good day and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you're welcome. My name is Uluwa Tosin and to all my returning subscribers, you're also welcome. So, in my previous video, I uploaded a dress that has this collar and I mentioned that in my next video, I'll be uploading how to cut this collar. Yeah, so here is the dress I made that has this collar and I mentioned that I'm going to make a detailed tutorial on how to cut and sew this collar. If you're interested in knowing how to cut and sew this dress, I have two videos that explain how to cut and sew this dress you can just check them out i'll be putting the link up and also in the description box this color can also be used on shirts on top and all of that but for the sake of this particular video i used this color on a dress that has bustier on an ankara dress with bustier so starting from measuring round where this collar is going to enter which is the neckline for the bustier here is the neckline for the bustier the first thing to do you know you have to join your shoulder line so i joined shoulder line for the, the lining i joined the two shoulder lines for the ankara as well the next thing is you have to measure round the neckline so fold that into two then you measure round the neckline when on fold of two you are going to leave like quarter inch or half inch before you start measuring this quarter inch is the one you will use to turn that zip side of the of the back you'll be turning that with lining so i measured what i have here is 10 multiplied by 2 gives me 20 that means the first layer of the collar is going to be 20 inches long which is the straight part so i folded my fabric into two i measured 10 and then i added one inch allowance this one inch allowance is for turning on both sides i'll be using half inch to turn on the left and then half inch to turn on the right the actual length like the wideness of this collar is two inches but because it has to be on fold of two and then i'll be needing half inch allowance to attach it on the neckline i proceeded to measuring 4.5 i hope that's clear so the length is going to be the whatever measurement that goes around your neckline and then the height is going to be four and a half here it is when i was done cutting it out so we'll be folding that into two and we have to measure the other layer of the collar on this one so after folding into two from the middle you are going to be measuring nine because the actual length for this is ten and the other layer is not going to enter the zip allowance it's just this that will enter the zip allowance so i'll be cutting nine inches long with allowance ten inches long and then the height is going to be three inches on fold of two six inches half inch allowance that i'll use to attach it to the first layer that makes it six and a half and you know i'll be cutting two of that because my first layer is on fold of two before i measured so in total i'll be measuring 20 you know 10 times 220 and then the height is going to be on fold of two now three and quarter after cutting that out i will fold it into two and then shear it into two this is for the other layer that will fall back on the straight part now i hope that is clear you can see that when i put it together the zip allowance is obviously there like the, the straight layer has the zip allowance so the next thing to do is to start turning to turn now i'm going to still open that side my finger is running across open but for now let's turn this two piece so i'll be turning the two sides i'll not turn the up because that is where i'll be flipping it out from so proceed to stitching both sides with half half inch and then notch the edge so that the pointy parts can come out very well then you flip it to the right side and give it a very good press when i was done doing that this is what they look like at this point so the next thing is to pick up this straight, the first layer, and then you are going to fold it into two equal halves. You put a notch at the middle. After putting in a notch at the middle, you open it up back and then you cut it open. Like fold it into two equal halves again. Make sure that they are equally folded and then you cut it open from one side 
to the other just like i'm doing in the video so this side you are seeing on your screen is the wrong side the inner is the right side so you are going to pick up a layer and keep it aside then you pick up these two pieces the second step of the color from the middle now you are going to place it on the middle make sure you are starting from the middle to the other side and then you use the other one to cover it up you pin it down pin both of them down and you move this to your sewing machine and just secure it down with a straight stitch first so sew it from this side to the other side make sure that the one like both of them are touching each other at the middle like no space at all they should be touching each other at the middle that's notched middle then you turn just like my finger is running across you stitch stitch from that side to the other side and then you stitch it straight down and you stitch the other edge as well after stitching notch the edges so that the pointy parts can come out very well then you flip it to the right side after flipping this to the right side give it a very very good press and at this point our color is almost ready please measure what you have here it must not be wider than what you have inside the neckline for the dress or the shirt or the top or wherever this color is entering if it's longer you should turn it on both sides again so that they will be the same length so for this i'm going to be notching that middle of the neckline and i'll be notching the middle of the collar right side of the collar has to be placed on the right side of the fabric i'll be pinning the two notches together and the two notches have to be facing each other so you sew from the zip side leaving that half inch that you'll be needing to turn the zip allowance you sew it straight down to the middle and then to the other side of the zip side leaving the other half inch you'll be needing to turn the zip allowance on the other side so when you are done doing this you face your you will notch the middle of the lining as well then you face the lining to the right side of the ankara the two notches have to be on each other you pin the middle and then you turn from one side to the other after this i turned with aiming gum so that i can press the neckline and then the ankara sticks down to the lining on it or the lining sticks down to the ankara and then i turned the zipper allowance and here is the color when i was done attaching it on the dress if you want a detailed video on how i cut this dress i'll be putting it up and then down in the description box and then another video that talks about how i sew this dress from start to finish is going to be in the description box as well thank you so much for sticking with me from the beginning of this video till this point i hope someone finds this video helpful and interesting if it has been helpful to you don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed kindly do and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when next i upload new video on this channel i'll see you in my next video bye